There shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? Peter reminds us that just because God's schedule is different to ours, it doesn't mean that our watch is right. I remember being in Geneva, Switzerland on one occasion, and uh, they have a little flower clock right by the water, and of course Geneva is famous for its watches. I saw a man standing there looking at his watch, and he looked at the floral clock, and then he looked around a bit, and he stepped over the rail, and he adjusted the time on the floral clock to match his. And I thought to myself, well, that's more true to human nature than I'd like to believe. If somebody's wrong, it couldn't be me, could it? And everything ought to adjust to me and to my schedule and to my way of thinking. Well, who, who does set the schedule anyway? Who does establish the standard? You remember in the Garden of Eden there was only one tree that man couldn't touch. Oh, the generosity of God! But men pick on God because he put one tree there they couldn't touch. God said you can have everything else. But I decide what's good and evil. You are not the source of it. I am the one who sets the standard. And I want to tell you, dear Christian, you may think things are badly out of shape. But God is right on schedule. There's a lot of discouragement among God's people. And it seems to me that they've only read the first half of Matthew 13. You know, the Lord Jesus told the parables of the kingdom. And he told about things the way they would appear to the multitude. He told the multitudes about it and spoke about the subterfuge and the sabotage that was going on, how the enemy was seeking to neutralize the work of the king while he was away in heaven. And the Lord Jesus took his disciples into the house, set the multitude away. Now he said, let me tell you how it really is. And he told the story about a wonderful treasure and a beautiful pearl. And the day when at last the net would gather in everything and everything would be sorted out and everything, every book would be balanced and everything made straight. And he said, now that's how it really is. Dear Christian, don't be fooled. God's right on schedule. God is not in any hurry. So much so that men accuse God of being tardy. For the reason he's waiting, says Peter, He's waiting for sinners to get saved.